What can I get for you guys? I think one of everything. One of everything. <laughs> right? Yeah, go awesome. for it. Do you eat tacos normally? Tacos is very popular in Sweden. Is but it? But not the kind of tacos, that, like not the authentic kind of tacos. And it's more of a kind of bastardized, sort of Swedified, you know, Tex-Mex version of a taco. Like we ate a lot of moose meat when I grew up because my father hunts a lot. Moose meat? Yeah, so they made moose tacos. Wow. <laughs> so here's your plate full of each, the sweet potato, cauliflower, eggplant, and oh pumpkin. Oh my god, wow. Thank you so much. Two tortas coming also. <laughs> it's like one bite of everything. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Unbelievable. Thank you. Yeah, really tasty. We can bring this inside with us and nibble while we cook. So I'm going to do a variation of a recipe that we've had on the menu at Favigen for a really long time, which is uh, one of the first things you get when you come into the restaurant, basically, and you're sat in front of the fireplace for drinks. Maybe if you can help me out a little bit while sure. I'm doing this. Just sort of go through these with a knife. When you add water to the inside, you, get, you know, they go all jelly-like. Yeah. Put these in here. So I'm just going to spoon some of this onto the paper. Just sort of push this out a little bit. And normally we make them one seed thick only. Oh, so wow. it's like really thin. Today, because I'm going to put a lot of stuff on top, we're going to make them quite a lot thicker. So um, I think this is sort of a pretty good thickness now. I'm just going to pull the top sheet off. So I'm just going to put this in the oven now to about 320 degrees. So all of this I just picked up at the uh, farmer's market yesterday. We're not going to really do very much to it. We're just going to sort of place it on top of the cracker, like a little salad almost. So I'm just going to kind of break a little piece off from this. That. So you start spreading all of these nice vegetables on top. This is so pretty. Mmm. It's so gorgeous and unusual. What do you think? Yeah, I think that's pretty tasty. Yeah? My crazy idea was to make Swedish fish tostada. Yep. <laughs> Just do like a quick little pickle of the vegetables to get that mm -hmm. sort of pickled situation happening. Cinnamon, salt, sugar, mustard seed, and some red wine vinegar. Smash these a little. It really sucks to have to cook in front of you. Can I <laughs> you just say so? that? <laughs> yes. It's like really nerve wracking. So we'll let this pickle for a second. So we have some creme fraiche, parsley, and coriander, and dill, zest of the slime. So we have corn tortilla, some pickled cabbage that we did before. Mm -hmm. Cabbage is an important part of fish tacos. There's some shallot in there. Then we take this beautiful smoked trout. Danish open-faced sandwich taco. Yeah, that was, that's sort of what we're going for. Yeah. Yum. Salsa on top, and you need some heat, of course. Yep, some green chilies. Little cilantro and dill, <laughs> especially for you. And like that. It's sort of a tall order. A California Swedish mix. No, really nice. Oh. Thank you. 